It's the reaching, you know, extraordinary by definition means outside the normal course of events. What would happen if you were to reach just a little farther? To me, what that really means is to step into your own human potential to reach for what is possible. And to do that, I believe you need to tap into nourishing and committing to nourishing your own possibility. So over the next seven minutes, I want to encourage you to think of a moment when you reached and you let go. Just think about that. For me, the first time that I experienced something truly extraordinary, I was drunk in a pub in Ireland, so it's the most great ideas come about. And literally, a pamphlet landed in the middle of the pub table. And I think it's really important that when you put something out there, you have to be responsible for keeping your eyes open because it doesn't always show up in the way that we expect or the way that we want it to. So in this case, I'm really drunk. And this pamphlet lands in the middle of the table. And in big, bold letters, it reads, The Ultimate Test of the Human Spirit. And I was tremendously lost. I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing, and I was looking for purpose. So I knew that what that was really saying to me was possibility. And I had to committed to whatever that looked like before I'd even opened the pamphlet. And when I opened the pamphlet, it said, Transatlantic Growing Race from Spain to the Caribbean in a 24-foot ocean rowing boat, and my mother's worst nightmare she drew. We, it took us 86 days to complete this voyage. I rode with one other person unassisted. Now, when we talk about reaching, it doesn't get, you know, there's not a farther reach than being 21, never rode a day in my life before, haven't rode a day since. <laughs> my biggest fear is water, up until last weekend at Tofino, I kid you not. And we had to learn sea survival, we lived off of astronaut food. We rode two hours on, two hours off for 24 hours a day for 86 days. I was lucky to represent Canada in this race, and at the time I became the youngest woman in history to completely survive this voyage. We faced two hurricanes and a tropical storm, and there is, there's so many things that I could go on. I could talk all night about the amazing experiences that I had, but what I want to share with you is my most defining moment, and it has changed the way that I rode through my entire life, really, truly. And I want to invite you to get on my boat with me right now, okay? So 24 feet. We're going up about a 50-foot-odd wave, so that's about a five-story building. That's what a hurricane looks like. And we get to the top, and the wave is curling, and it curls over my six-foot cabin, which is about the size of one of the float tanks. And it's the feeling of an animal jumping at your face. I'm washed off the side of the boat, I feel my body hit the side of a boat, and it's like a plate cracking. And I'm now flung into the water, and my worst fear comes true, because as you know, I'm afraid of water. And my one-ton boat is coming down on top of me with the pressure of a 50-foot wave. This is definitely worst-case scenario. The boat flicks back, and because I was harnessed to the boat, me with it, and my rowing partner pulled me on to the middle of the boat, and realized very quickly that I had broken my ribs. Now, I cannot articulate to you the level of pain that I experienced. Recently, I was a doula for my sister-in-law, so I actually think that trumps it. But other than that, <laughs> until that day, definitely the most painful thing that I can imagine. And what is so defining for me about this experience is that you can imagine that I would feel that there's no options. I have no help. I'm literally in the middle of the Atlantic. And like, what do you do? And I think what I'd like to share with you is that in, even, in any given moment, there's always a choice to see possibility. And when you make your own choices, you're empowered, no matter what it looks like. So for me, I had two options. I could not row. It's going to take me a really long time to get to the other side. Or I could continue to row, and I would have to accept the pain that I would face in doing so. And so for me, I decided to get back on the oars. And I puked on myself for the first, two, you know, for the first 15 minutes of every two-hour shift, and I recited to myself, push through the pain, face the fear, you're Viking to Valhalla. Because I held on to the fact that I made that choice for myself. Now today, this thread shows up every day. I'm no longer rowing an ocean. I'm rowing what I call my juice ocean. This is my beautiful business partner, Lara Kozan. We met about a year and a half ago, and I was sitting in a coffee shop with her. 
and I had the courage again to reach just a little farther. I'd been sitting on a business idea for about two years, and I saw an opportunity, and I cracked open my heart, and I threw my concept on the table, and you know what she did? She cracked open her heart, and she threw her ideas on the table, and we've been co-creating what I believe to be the most extraordinary and fulfilling moment of my life. And what we are is we're 100% organic, cold-pressed juice company, and our intention is to provide a modern nourishment, to change the face of how people think and nourish their bodies, and connecting that food is healing. And I'm no longer in a hurricane or a 60-foot wave, but now I have 8,000-pound hydraulic presses, and I experience the same challenges, although the details are different, and our commitment is to nourishing every possibility and any challenge and to reach and really merely to just step forward into your own potential. So I'd love to bring you back to whatever it was that you were thinking about while I shared my story. And I encourage you to turn to the person next to you and share, declare what that is. And if you were to reach just a little farther, is it possible that you would experience the most extraordinary and expansive moments of your life? And if we were to stop judging our ability and our capability, nobody would have thought that I would have survived running across the Atlantic. And that wasn't how I made my decision. I mean, would, what would it look like if we were committed to just experiencing our life regardless of the outcome? To me, that's what human potential means. I hope that everybody goes home tonight and I wish you endless possibility. And last but not least, I just want to share my gratitude for being on the stage because I don't think that I have ever spoken with such an incredible lineup. And I took something home from all of you, like my heart was cracking out every single time. And thank you, Kate, so much for pioneering and bringing, you know, high, giving us, people like us an opportunity to share a message and a story that we're truly passionate about.